Hi everyone, this is Adrian of 18 Echo SF. Several videos ago I uh, explained that I had installed a set of XS Big Dot sights on my Kimber Stainless Pro Carry. Since my eyes at my age have deteriorated to the point where, um, you know, at um, the focal length of where the front sight is on my handguns, um, you know, it's uh, not very clear. A bit cloudy so I thought by having the big dot sight that would um, help immensely uh, it has helped some um, still not quite what I expected without any uh, glasses on just regular shooting glasses but um, but I have found that um, if I uh, have um, a, uh, a pair of um, reading glasses on or uh, my computer glasses when I go uh, shooting at the range, um, then it works perfect. But um, I found that a, uh, an interesting thing um, concerning this, the sight picture of these sights. Uh, by the way, this gun is clear, it's empty, nothing in there. Um, the, the big dot sight is very, very large. Um, particularly in comparison to the rear sight. Um, they are tritium, um, so in the daylight, of course, the tritium doesn't show, but the big white dot um, do does show um, really well. However, um, I've been out shooting twice with it, and I've noticed that the uh, sight picture, uh, for me, seems to have changed dramatically. Um, where before, you know, you used to position, um, you know, a, a front sight, you know, um, lined up with the rear sight um, with, you know, equal space between both sides as the normal way of, you know, trying to get a good sight picture. Um, I found that placing that big white dot on top of the vertical line on the uh, rear sight of the excess sights, um, causes uh, the gun to shoot low and I'm not talking about you know jerking on the trigger and shooting to the left or you know pulling it into the right I'm talking about the, the vertical um, and I have found that it was shooting just below the target so I did some experimenting and um, you know found out that um, if I just forgot about the rear sight itself and just concentrated on that big white dot and put that big white dot right on top of whatever it is I was shooting at, in this particular case, a target, that it would uh, hit pretty much spot on. So um, I fired about 50 rounds doing that, and sure enough, it um, uh, seems to work the best way to the point where I'm not even concentrating on the rear sight at all. And when I bring that gun up, you know, to go on target, all I care about is having the front sight on, um, on the target. And it seems to hit pretty much point of, um, uh, uh, the impact point seems to be right where that big dot is. So, um, I don't know if any of um, you have uh, excess big dot sights on your guns. I'd be curious to know if um, you've discovered this, the same thing. I really do like the sights, I'll be honest. Um, on my Colt Combat Commander, um, uh, I put a different uh, sight on it. The front sight is staked in place, so I didn't replace that. Uh, the rear sight, I put a 10.8 uh, U-notch sight, and I'll give you a report on that after I shoot that a bit more. But um, on the Kimber uh, Pro Carry, um, I really do like this sight for, um, again, it's a combat sight, um, you know, at distance. Um, the further away the target is, the more this big dot fills up the target, makes it a little more difficult to see. But in close, 15 yards in, um, it uh, seems to work very, very well. So uh, I just wanted to give you a little report. And again, if you have any comments or uh, experience using uh, these particular sites and you have found a similar or dissimilar, uh, you know, uh, points, uh, other than what I'm making, um, I, I'd really appreciate hearing it. But for me, um, that seems to be how it works. 
So uh, stay well and safe out there, folks, and uh, we'll see you down the road.